WrestleMania 40, daughter versus mother, book it McMahon. Welcome back guys to Fog Wrestling and we're here to talk about the story that broke earlier. So Vicky Guerrero's daughter came out, made a statement about how she was sexually assaulted by Vicky's husband uh, on a cruise ship in 2020. Now didn't give any proof, didn't give any evidence. A lot of people though, as you know, I say a lot of people, pretty much 99% of the people on Twitter, wrestling fans all running to uh, Sherilyn Guerrero's aid, all defending and believing Sherilyn Guerrero because in 2023, you know, it's not, it's no longer innocent until proven guilty, it's guilty until proven innocent, especially if it's a woman, if a woman is making a claim, if a woman is making an accusation against a man, you are fucked, until you can 100% prove she is lying, you are fucked, and the sad thing is, even once you prove that she's a liar, even once the evidence comes out she's a liar, people will still take her side and people will still be like, ah, well, he must have drove her to do these things. So again, in 2023, if you're a woman, you can do no wrong. If you're in the right, then obviously you're right. But if you're in the wrong, then you're still right and it's always the man's fault. So people coming out here defending Vicky's daughter and just labelling Vicky a bad parent, labelling Vicky's husband a predator, we don't even know who this guy is. We don't know fuck all about the guy. How can you label this guy something with, with, with zero information just based on one little post where Sherilyn says that she was assaulted and gave no information. She didn't give a detailed um, a, a, a account of what happened. She just says, oh, I was assaulted on a cruise by my stepdad. That's it. And people, based on that, are, are, are running through the girls and they're, they're bashing Ficky and they're labelling this guy like a predator and saying that they want him to die and they want him to go to jail. It's like, what the fuck, man? Seriously. But anyway, Ficky Guerrero has responded. Pretty lengthy um, message here, so it might take me a wee while to read it, but this is what Ficky Guerrero said, guys, then I'll discuss what I think of the situation. But even when I first read it, it didn't sound believable to me because surely if something happened, you, you would have a more detailed... Um, you know, uh, you would have a more detailed like, statement of the offence of what happened. She just came out and says, oh, uh, my stepfather, you know, touched me or whatever. But Plus, she mentioned it was more a physical thing rather than like a sexual thing. Again, that's something else that I thought was pretty strange. If someone sexually assaults you, you don't really talk about it in a physical manner. You know, it's inappropriately that they touch you like that. You wouldn't, but the way she spoke about it, it sounded more like she'd been like manhandled or, you know, struck or something like that rather than being like touched sexually or anything like that. But anyway, that's what Figa Guerrero had to say on the story. She said, quote, There are two sides to a story. Over 15 years, my relationship with Sherilyn has been hostile and I've had to deal with a narcissistic person. Not only myself, but close friends of Sherilyn over the 10 years have, and family have cut ties with her because of her manic behaviours. I tried to do therapy with Sherilyn, but she always said no, and that I am not sick, or I am not, I am, that I am sick, not her. Sherilyn, please tell your side of the character of being drunk on the cruise and having guys in your room, then crying because you think you were raped, then demanded us to go to a pharmacy in Bahamas for plan B. You want to play dirty and sling Chris and I through the mud? I have my own pile of mud from you. Are you enjoying the two cars that Chris bought you? The three apartments you bailed out of? The two surgeries we paid for? Your lives will catch up and I feel bad for you. Sherilyn, not once have you spoken to Chris about the situation, but you can go on social media and tell all. But that's how you communicate. Another example of you manipulating and harassing others. I am so done with you and tired of the years of your manipulation, lies and disrespect. I kept quiet for years because you never seek therapy to learn how to have an adult conversation with me. It has always been your way, all or nothing. Okay, Sherilyn, not only will I see you in court, but you and I will no longer be related. And for the fans who feel entitled to comment, fuck you, you hear one side of the story and feel entitled to comment on something you know nothing about, end of quote. So there you go, guys. Ficka Guerrero laying it all out on the line there. And I agree with you. Fans that know absolutely nothing, just come into the aid, just come into Sherwin's defence, like knight in white armour, no, white knight armours or whatever. White armour knights, fuck it. And, you know, they're bashing this guy, they're calling this guy a predator with zero proof. It's disgusting. Calling Ficka Guerrero a bad mother with zero proof. Now, is the way Ficka handled this, is this a good way to handle it? Like, probably not. But let's be honest. Like I said, in 2023, the accuser is always, you know, they're always right until there's 100% proof. So, 
Ficky has to defend herself, right? She has to come out and make a statement. If Ficky says nothing, people are going to say she's guilty because she's been silent. But if she comes out and defends herself, then people are going to say, oh, you're a horrible mother for, for bringing this stuff up in public. Um, no, it was Sherilyn Guerrero that brought it up in public first. She's the one that came out and made a statement. She's the one that came out and made accusations. Ficky Guerrero has to defend herself. Come on, if Ficky Guerrero said nothing, everyone would be bashing her, saying, oh, look at that, she's not saying anything, it must be true. But she comes out and defends herself, and people still bash Ficky Guerrero and her husband. Honestly, guys, you just can't win. Apparently, also, the other daughter of Guerrero, um, Shaul Guerrero, I think she's also blocked Sherilyn, so the fact that she's taken her mother's side, I think that tells you guys who to believe. Now, Chavo said he was supporting his cousin, Sherilyn, but he didn't say that she was correct or he didn't bash Ficky Guerrero. He simply said he would support her. So maybe even he knows that the story's bullshit, but he might think that, you know, his cousin needs support, needs help, and he's willing to do that. But can you blame Ficky for not helping her daughter after all these lies and, you know, dragging her husband's name through the dirt? Who wouldn't be pissed off? Honestly, if if you someone came out and, and dragged your spouse's name through the dirt like this, you would be pissed off too. So I can't blame Ficky Guerrero. Anyway guys, that's it. Let me know your comments down below. I'll catch you in the next one. Leave a like, subscribe, comment. I'll see you later and peace.